Please be seated or standing, whatever you choose to do at this time while you're at home watching this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chad Grindo. I am the proud interim principal of REACH Academy. And we would like to welcome all of you to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2020. As we welcome the members of the, of the Board of Trustees of the Santa Ana Unified School District, our school district leaders, school faculties, parents and guests, and graduating seniors to the 2020 commencement ceremony for REACH Academy. Wherever you are, please rise and place your hand, your right hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I would like to be, begin by acknowledging our school board. From our Board of Education, our board president, Dr. Rigo Rodriguez, our vice president, Valerie Amesqua, our clerk, Dr. Alfonso Alvarez, and we are also joined by members of our school board, John Palacio and Carolyn Torres. From our school district, we are also going to be joined by our superintendent, Jerry Almendarez. Again, Reach Academy of Santa Unified School District, we would like to welcome you all to our 2020 graduation. Class of 2020, we are in unique times and given everything that we've gone through, we couldn't think of any better way to be able to make sure that you are all recognized for all the hard work that you've done. With all five of you, you guys have been through so many trials and tribulations, but yet you guys have withstood all those to be able to fight and be able to get here today to be recognized as a graduate from REACH Academy. So, just want to be able to say thank you and how proud I am, the, the faculty are, of you and all of your hard work. Um, we have this poem that we wanted to be able to read to you, and it kind of symbolizes some, uh, some ideas, some sort of uh, guidance as you move on with your life. Always know that you always have a home here at REACH Academy. You will always be part of us. This poem is by Baz Luhrmann. Everyone is free to wear sunscreen. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. A, the long-term benefits of sunscreen have proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis, no reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense of this advice now. Enjoy the power and the beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will never understand the power and the beauty of your youth until they've faded. But trust me, in the 20 years you look back at the photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now, how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You were not as fat as you imagined. Don't worry about the, the future. Oh, or worry, but know that of worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. But do one thing every day that scares you. Saying, don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember the compliments you, see, you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letter, letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel gu guilty if you don't know what you want to do with the rest of your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know what they want to do at 22, what they want to do with their lives. Some of my most interesting four-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken at your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much 
or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance, so are everyone else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way that you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It is the greatest instrument you'll ever know. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but your own living room, read the directions even though you don't follow them. Don't read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Get to know your parents. You'll never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're the best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but a precious few who should hold on. Work hard to build the, gra the gaps in geography and lifestyle. As the older you get, the more you, the need for people you know when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once before it makes you soft. Travel. Accept certain unalienable truths. Prices will rise. Politicians will flander. You too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you'll, find, you'll have a trust fund. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either might run out. Never mess too much with your hair. Or by the time you're 40, it'll look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient for those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia, dispensing it in a way of fishing the past. From the disposable, wiping it off, painting, it, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me on the sunscreen. And now, presentation of the class. As we prepare to present the graduating class of 2020 from Reach Academy, please welcome Dr. Rigo Rodriguez, our board president. Class of 2020, I'm Dr. Rigo Rodriguez, board president for the Santa Ana Unified School District. As you can see, I'm wearing a regalia to honor you, to recognize the efforts you've put into graduating. Congratulations for graduation. I know that this regalia doesn't compare to what would have been the experience of graduating, walking across the stage, receiving your diploma, having your parents, your abuelita, abuelito in the stands clapping for you. But that's why we aren't able to have a graduation, it's to protect their health. I know that this crisis that we're in has really kept us from doing the things we wanted to do, such as this graduation. But my message to you is, let's not let COVID-19 really define us by what we couldn't do, but rather by what we actually did during this time. We took care of each other. Over the last two months, our food service workers, for example, have distributed over a million meals. Our teachers have worked hard to make sure that you're getting the education that you need at this point, and you've done a wonderful job. You've risen to the challenge. And so that's the message. Let's look at what actually worked during this time, and what worked was that we took care of each other, and that's the most important value. And with that value, I know you're going to be successful. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I'm Valerie Musqua. I'm your Vice President of the Santa Ana Unified School Board of Education. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you, and I know that you are now going to enter into a new chapter of your life, and you're going to do phenomenal things, and you're going to come back to your community and pay it forward. I know things have been very challenging because of the COVID-19. This is a bump in the road for you. And there will be many more challenges that will come in your lifetime when you hit your mid-20s, your 30s, your 40s, when you become parents, when you graduate from college and get your first job, or when you become a parent and your child is having some challenges. There are going to be many things. When people say, life is wonderful, it is wonderful. But there are always bumps in the road. You get up, you pull up your bootstraps, as I always say, and we carry on because we are SAUSD, and you guys are all amazing. 
And so from my heart, congratulations to each and every one of you. It was a challenge for some of you. Some of it was easy. Some of you, you're the very first one in your family ever graduating. And again, I am so very proud of you. There's nothing more I can say other than I would probably start crying if I continue to talk. So I'm going to stop now and say congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm honored to be your board member. I'm honored to be part of this and be a part of your life. And always feel free to reach out to me wherever you go. And I will connect you to people who can help you and guide you and whatever I can do for you as well. So take on the world, class of 2020, because I know you can. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Alfonso Alvarez, Clerk of the Board of Education. I wanted to start off by congratulating the class of 2020. You should be proud of yourselves for this huge accomplishment. I wanted to let you know that I'm proud of each and every one of you. I know that some of you are going to go off to, to college and university. Some of you guys are going to pursue a trade. Some of you are going to enter the workforce and some are going to go into the military. But I know that each and every one of you guys will succeed. You guys made it. You got your high school diploma. Class of 2020, you guys can do anything that you guys want. Just remember, you will always be part of the SAUSD family. Congratulations. Hello, this is John Palacio. I'm a member of the Board of Education for San Unified School District. This is an opportunity to recognize and congratulate the graduation class of 2020. In spite of the challenge you've had this year, this is something that is very special for you because this is a special day for you because you have earned the academic requirements in order to graduate and we applaud you. In spite of the, the COVID-19 health crisis, you have succeeded in spite of that. And I want to congratulate you again and recognize the graduation class of 2020. In closing, I want to share with you that it's important that you practice social distancing, practice the use of masks and gloves as appropriate, because you need to protect your, your loved ones, your family, and yourself. And in closing, we are SUSD. And again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Hi, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. You made it. You got to the finish line. You should be so proud of yourself. I know how hard it's been trying to balance school, if you're working, your friendships, your romantic relationships, your parents, and whatever you'll have going on at home. I know it's been a struggle, but you struggled through when you got here. Be proud of yourself. I know this year didn't look like you wanted it to look, but you were growing into the world in a historical time period. You are historically significant. Your class is going to be studied for generations. I want you to really, really reflect on that. But regardless, I know that you all are going to persevere. I know each and every one of you is intelligent. Each and every one of you is beautiful. Each and every one of you can do anything that you set your mind to. Each and every one of you is going to go out into the world and make a difference. Each and every one of you has value and is worthy of love and happiness. And how do I know this? How do I know this even though I haven't met each and every one of you? Because each and every one of you are from Santana. You are from Santana. Be proud. Congratulations, class of 2020. I look forward to seeing you all. Class of 2020, I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations for all your accomplishments during these unprecedented times. You have overcome obstacles that no other class before you has ever faced. You and your classmates have shown resilience, perseverance, and incredible courage. I know this is not the graduation you envisioned, and we all share your disappointment at not being allowed to celebrate with friends, family, and educators who have helped you on this journey. But I'm confident you will learn from this experience like we all learn from adversity. You have already shown a tremendous amount of responsibility, resourcefulness, and compassion. These traits will only help you succeed as you make the transition into college and careers. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the best of luck. Seniors, it is now the time for awarding of diplomas. To Fernando Cuellar. Alejandro Eli Martinez. 
Esmeralda Martinez. Daniela Trujillo. Alex Zitumur. Dr. Rodriguez, we are honored to present to you the REACH Academy Class of 2020. By the authority vested in me by the Santa Ana Board of Trustees and upon the certification of the faculty at your high school, I do hereby affirm that all requirements set forth by the Board of Education of the Santa Ana Unified School District have been met by these seniors and confer the high school diploma on the class of 2020 with all of the rights and privileges thereto attached. Seniors, please rise. Board President Dr. Rodriguez, we accept with gratitude the diplomas that you have awarded us today. Seniors, you are now graduates. You may move your tassel to the left side. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, family, friends, guests to our students, thank you for being here to celebrate this unique opportunity and accomplishments that our REACH graduates have, have done today. We thank you for all your, your love and support in their journeys to be able to get them here today. We thank you. Stay safe. God bless.